Alexandra here and welcome back to the channel. If this is your very first time here, I just want to say welcome. Thank you so much for coming by and I do hope you will subscribe down below so you can catch more videos like today's video. So today I wanted to compare for you and talk a little bit about the new Carly Bible Deluxe Palette. I know it's late. I'm sorry, but here we are. It's just, it's been a busy couple of weeks. Um, but I did want to compare it to the original because I have both. So if you're interested in hearing about it, seeing swatches and a demo, then let's go ahead and get into it. Alrighty, first things first. So I just want to first let you guys know the original one which I don't even remember how much that one was originally but um, it has been discontinued I have seen like a few um, in Ulta displays so if you want to try to get your hands on the original um, it's uh, still of it I think this one was like 1450 or so um, I can't recall but I did really enjoy the original palette um, when I got it and I used it quite a bit it was one of my go-to for mauve eyeshadow looks so here's what that one looks like. I'm sure you guys have seen it. Um, the interesting thing about this one is it kind of had like a gasoline smell, which was not good. Um, so here is the new deluxe edition. This one retails for $19.50 on BH Cosmetics website right now. Um, but my understanding is that it's going to go up in price here soon to $22.50 or something like that. Um, and it does have a sleeve. This one had a sleeve, but I, um, I don't know what I did with it. So anyway, so this has like a beautiful, um, like white pillow looking thing. It matches the original one and this one has 21 colors in it as opposed to 14. There are some definite, um, like repeat shadows. Let me finagle this here. So there's definitely, there's definitely some overlap between the two palettes as you can probably see just for me holding it up and I'll try to find a way to show you um, what all is the same and then what is different I'll try to identify that for you um, in picture form in some way but there are some new shades and then they did say they reformulated um, some of the original shades um, overall do I like this palette I think this palette is a great value I think the quality of this is beautiful um, what they've done in this palette, you know, compared to the other one, this first row here, um, I do believe is completely new. Um, this shade right here is really cool. It's a nice duochrome. Um, all the shades except for this, like, uh, what do you call that? Like a, like a more foiled shade, and that's what's on my lid today, um, is the same. And then I think there's some overlap um, on the bottom row, too. Um, but I can't recall exactly which shade. So like I said, I'll try to identify those in some other way. Um, and then some of the highlighters are new as well. I have the pink highlighter, this one, um, on my cheekbones. And then I have the white one on my inner corners. But overall, do I like this palette? I absolutely think it is worth the value. And I do notice that the, the quality of the shadows that are like overlapped are very much comparable um it's, i mean it are very much um these were nice but these are definitely nicer so they definitely did something with the formula that i enjoy and it also doesn't smell like gasoline anymore which i appreciate um yeah so just checking <laughs> so let me just tell you about what i have on my eyes um i don't know what's going on with my hair my hair's doing weird things um, and if you're wondering, like, this face situation, you'll see I have, like, zit action happening. And so if that's why it looks weird, that's why. Anyway, um, so on my eyes today, I have the cream shade all over the lid. Um, and then I have this shade right here buffed into my crease. Followed by this shade, which I also put into my crease. Then I have this shade in my outer V. So I basically use this whole row. And then I used this glittery, um, this metallic shade. And what I did first, you'll see, is I put um, it on just by itself. And then I have used some Fix Plus to kind of amp it up a little bit. Um, so that's what this eye look is today. Um, I'm super impressed with the wear time. It wore extremely well. Um, and I was able to get like a full day's worth of, you know, work out of it. So overall, do I recommend this palette? Absolutely. 100% recommend it. 
and let's go ahead and show you some swatches here are the swatches on my um, my left hand here I have the eyeshadow and on my right I did the highlighters as you can see the highlighters are super impressive they're ridiculous but yeah so here is the first row um, right here I got a weird little knuckle swatch thing happening so yeah this, these two right here are really cool duochrome shades and then here's the shades I have on my eyes today this row in the middle and then the last like most neutral row sorry I know that looks weird on my hand I'll probably insert an up close photo or something um, for you guys anyway uh, and a quick little shout out to Carly's um, team so there was a bunch of confusion but the short story is that um, her website, um, what do they call it, Pravana, is that, am I getting that right? Um, anyway, so she ended up putting it on her website, and my first palette came um, partially shattered, and I sent them a picture on like a Saturday, and by early Monday morning, they had sent me a response, they said they were sorry, and they shipped out a new palette almost immediately. I had an, the, another palette in less than a week, so super hugely impressed. With the customer service on their website i think that's hugely important um, but it is now available on bh's website and i also believe it will be available in ulta stores very soon if it isn't already so i hope you guys did enjoy this video and if you did please be sure to give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already and i'll catch you guys in my next video bye guys